Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to stream your PS Vita screen to your PC using OBS and play games. So this is actually really cool, but there's a few things you need for this video. So you will need a PC with OBS installed. You will also need a PS Vita USB cable um, because this has to be connected to the PS Vita while you're streaming. And if you guys wish to use audio as well, you will need something like this, which is just an audio jack to audio jack um, adapter. So what you guys want to do first on your PS Vita is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. I wouldn't recommend using an FTP server for this video, so make sure it's selected on USB when you press start, then press select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once we're on the PC, what you want to do is actually just download the plugin. So it's on this Reddit post. All you want to do is click the download section, which is the plugin. It will open up a Google Drive link, and all you want to do is just click download. So once that has finished downloading, you can also install OBS, which is the software we will be using to stream. Um, I've actually already got this installed. Quite a lot of you guys watching this video will probably have this installed as well. Basically what it is, is for streaming um, sort of like gameplay to YouTube or Twitch, but it can actually be used to stream the PS Vita to your PC. So choose your operating system, mine is Windows. I'm not going to install it because there's no point because I've already got it. So all you do, click download, wait for the installer to download, uh, just open it and then go through the setup. It's very simple. Just click next a few times and you guys know how that stuff works. So once you have got the plugin, head over to your downloads folder and all you want to do is right click copy it to your PS Vita. So I'm actually just going to put mine on the root because I actually want to put mine in my URO file. So I'll go onto my PS Vita right now and I'll show you guys how to set this up. Alright guys, so back on the PS Vita, what I'm going to do is just go into my UXO folder. Um, now you're looking for your config file, normally it's in TAI folder, um, but mine's actually on my URO, so I'm just going to find the plugin, press triangle, go down to copy. Now I'm just going to go into my URO, go into my TIE folder, um, triangle and paste. Obviously you don't need to do this if your config.txt is in your UX0 TIE folder. So now go into your config.txt, wherever it is, go down to kernel. I'm just going to insert the plugin on the last row, so I'm going to do right on the D-pad. Then I'm on row 8, going to press X to edit it, and we want to type in this. So I'm just going to type it out now, and then you guys can pause the video and type it down. Right guys, so it needs to look exactly like that. So URO or UXO, depending on where your config file is, dot dot TAI slash UDCD underscore UVC dot SKPRX. Once you've got it looking exactly like that, just tap the small arrow in the left hand corner. So then I'm just going to bring you back to this. Press circle, press X to save, and now you're back on the main menu. So all you want to do, just press circle to go all the way back. Now we want to restart the PS Vita, but before we restart it, we want to connect it to our PC. We also want to plug in the audio jack, so just go ahead and press start. Now just get your um, USB cable and connect it in. And then get the audio jack cable and connect it in. So yeah guys, now you just plug this into your PC, so you can plug in the USB wherever you want. But if you're using the audio jack, you want to plug this into the main motherboard line in um, port. So make sure you plug it into that, otherwise the sound probably won't come through. So I'm just going to plug this in now. And once you've plugged it in, all you want to do is just press X on reboot. Right guys, so it's connected to my motherboard right now. Uh, the USB is plugged in and the audio jack is plugged in to the line in. So I'm going to press X on reboot. And then when it reboots, um, depending on what firmware you're on, if you're on 3.68 like me, you want to run the HNCore update again. So it will boot up like this, it won't connect to your PC. Go and find the HNCore update and then just start it. We don't need to run it so we can exit straight away. 
And now just put your PS Vita down and I'll show you guys what to do on the PC. Right guys, so on your PC, there's another thing you want to do in Windows is you just want to type in privacy. Then you want to go to privacy settings, scroll all the way down and you're looking for app permissions. Click on camera and make sure allow apps to access camera is turned on. If this is turned off, this will not work. So once that has turned on, you can just close out of this. Now what you want to do is just go ahead and open up your OBS. I will be using the 64-bit version. So just open it like this. As you can see, I've got some sources already. That's just because I was thinking about live streaming one time. Um, the other thing you want to do, guys, is check your PS Vita sound is working. So go to your volume, um, uh, volume icon, right click it and go to sounds. Then go to recording, scroll all the way down and you're looking for line in. Click on that and go to properties, go to listen, uh, tick listen to this advice, make sure your headphones are selected and now just click apply. Now, if you turn up the sound on your PS Vita, you should be able to hear it. So there you go, hopefully you guys can hear that. I'm not gonna play it because, um, I'm not gonna play it for long because you know this is probably copyrighted or something like that, but at least we know the sound is working. Now you can click OK and just close out of this. So back onto OBS, right click sources, click add, go all the way down to video capture device. Then what you want to type in is PS space Vita and then just click OK. And now on device it will come up with PS Vita. If it doesn't just select it and then simply click OK. Don't change any settings in here. Now what you can do is completely resize the window just like that. And as you can see I can now control my PS Vita and it will be mirrored onto my PC. So there is a slight bit of lag but you know it's Actually, not really, it's actually pretty smooth. Maybe we're just when I first connected it. Right guys, so now as you can see, we're on OBS and you can see that this is the microphone that I'm talking through right now. So what you want to do is just click on settings right here, go to audio, um, you're looking for this one, it's called mic slash auxiliary audio device. Click on that and you want to do line in via HD audio, then just click apply and then just click OK. So yeah, here we are on my PS Vita, working sound. You can use the touch screen, obviously, just to, you know, switch pages and stuff like that. Hopefully the sound isn't too loud. But um, now Adrenaline works with this as well, uh, which is really cool. Um, let me just prove that a game works. I don't know, what game should we play? Angry Birds? Oh, it's touch screen. <laughs> And obviously you guys can um, stream this to your YouTube channel. Um, I'd say yeah, it's actually pretty good quality, so it, it's definitely worth streaming. Um, let me just show you the Adrenaline Works as well, because that wasn't actually working before. Mine's got a double boot um, glitch right now, so just please ignore that. But let me show you that this works. Right, so on the Adrenaline Emulator, um, let's try one of the PSP games that I've got. So I'm just going to turn down the volume here because um, this has probably got some copyright on or something. But anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. That's how you stream your PS Vita screen to your PC with USB connection and with audio working. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.